Hello good people! We have another exciting tutorial for you guys today, as always, and today's tutorial is on how to use an Xbox One controller with your Mac running El Capitan. Other than the actual controller, the only thing you need is a driver, and of course this is going to be a third-party driver, as Microsoft typically isn't about that Mac life, so I'm going to put a link in the description to two of them. The one that I'm going to be using in this tutorial is X1 OS X. I find that one to work a little bit better, but some people report that it doesn't work, so I'm going to include a second backup one in the description for you guys as well. Now, I already went ahead and downloaded this, and typically I wouldn't show you guys the installation process, but this is one of those uh, packages, drivers, whatever you want to call it, installation that's going to get blocked by Gatekeeper. So I'm just going to show you guys how to get around that. If Gatekeeper does block the installation, all you have to do is go into System Preferences, go into Security and Privacy, and it will tell you the most recent thing that Gatekeeper blocked, and can, you can just click Open Anyway. And then you're just going to go through the installation process and it is going to ask you to restart your Mac at the end of the installation. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and show you guys what to do next. So when your Mac reboots, the next thing you want to do is just go into system preferences and there should be a new preference pane called X1 controller. Just want to click on it. And this is where you're going to get your Mac to recognize the Xbox One controller. Right now it doesn't recognize mine because I haven't plugged it in yet. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And after you plug it in, you might need to click refresh for it to recognize the controller, and it does. And as you guys can see, as I play with the D-pad and the buttons and the joysticks, start and select menu, my Mac fully recognizes that I'm pressing those buttons. So then you can go into your emulator of choice or Steam and start mapping the controllers on your button to controls in the game. So that's how you use an Xbox One controller on your Mac. In a future video, I'm going to show you guys how to use a PS4 controller on your Mac. I did make one of those videos in the past, but the instructions are sort of dated, so I'm going to revamp that video, but that will unfortunately bring us to the end of today's tutorial, so if you found it helpful, make sure to give it a like, and if you're new here, maybe just stumbling across the video, click on that subscribe button. I have some great tutorials coming for you guys in the coming weeks, but other than that, hope you enjoyed the video, and take care.